Well, good morning, everyone. Today I got a little treat for us. We're gonna run up to Deer River and visit a guy that does uh, saw milling as a hobby. This is where we're gonna get our uh, beams, our floor joists, and probably the rest of our framing material from. It'll all be uh, rough cut, probably a little green, so there'll be some shrinking. But with the current lumber prices and stuff, I think this is the best option, at least for my pocketbook. So I hope everyone sticks around and enjoys this little video. And as always, thanks for watching. I actually grew up around this area. We had a small family farm just on the other side of this little cemetery. Brings back a lot of memories driving down these old roads. Yeah, this is all Cedar Valley in through here. Then we cross the county line into Itasca County and that becomes uh, Wawina Township. A lot of friends there. Used to do a lot of haying in the fields around Wawina, amongst other areas. It's a little bit of a drive up to this sawmill. I believe Deer River, Minnesota is about 125 miles from my house. So it's going to be pushing two hours, hour and a half by the time I go through Grand Rapids. But as I said, I think it'll be worth it. I'll get a little footage of the lumber for our project getting milled right there. And I'll be taking a load home with me so I can start on the uh, floor system. These are some of the old fields that I used to hay. They look pretty rough condition now though. We are talking chip almost 40 years ago now. Another blade for a windmill. So when did you start milling your own logs and stuff? Uh, with this mill, about two and a half years ago. Had a little one before that. Um, Always been one of your goals to get a bigger one, or what's it? Well, yeah, I just yeah, my other one wasn't much. Just a little, kind of just my own thing. Always here to sell more logs. Well, obviously. I <laughs> <laughs> well, should we get on with it?
Okay guys, what an awesome day that was. And what an awesome guy that was. Mom kind of knew his stuff. Unfortunately with the wind blowing so bad we didn't get a whole lot of conversation in on the camera. He's been doing it for two and a half years or so with that mill. And then prior to that he was doing on a smaller hobby mill. He seems to cut pretty dang good. We'd be going back up there for at least one more large load. We've got all the uh, floor material, the beams and the 2x8 uh, for floor joists in the back of the truck and on the trailer. Let me tell you, fun begins when I get home. Then we got to haul the stuff all the way down back to the building site access the vehicles so it'll be fun yeah I'll try to leave uh, info for Tom for anyone from the northern Minnesota area or whatever if they need material cut I would say he's the man to go to pretty reasonably priced does a nice job I was always told 50% of building is nothing but moving material. And as you can see, it's about right accurate. Probably a little more in this case, having to load everything in one trailer and then haul it back and then unload that trailer onto this trailer and then haul this out. No good way of getting it back here otherwise, unless I rent a helicopter. And I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yep, some two by eight by sixteens. That'll be all the floor joists. Still got four left up on top of the hill. I'll have to go get them. And then all the uh, beams are still in the back of my truck. Heavy sons of guns, heavy work.